Okay, y'all, this is gonna be a survival video. This is another one of my survival videos. So, right now, I'm gonna talk about the hurricanes. <coughs> Hurricane survival. So, um, when one's coming, make sure you get prepared as um, early as you can. You want to expect power to be out and um, expect trees to be down. Um, taking power out, trees down. Make sure you're expecting a lot of heavy wind and rain. Uh, every hurricane is different. Like Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Irma came right over us. And the, those winds, they were howl howling really bad for hours. And then uh, some of the other hurricanes that come over, they came by fast. But uh, a lot of times they come over during the night. And it's, um, they're always a little different. Some of them are stronger, some of them are bigger. Some of them put out more rain than others. Hurricane Ian put out a lot of rain here where we're at. A lot more than uh, any other ones have so far, as far as the, uh, right here where we're at anyway. Um, when it was coming over, I came outside to start the generator after all the power went off. And the, uh, the whole yard, the driveway, the road, the neighbor's yards, the neighbor's driveway, everything was, was like eight inches eight inch deep of water everywhere and uh, <clears throat> later on it started coming in our side door and we were having to get a lot of towels and soaking up the water and stuff until we could get it stopped and uh, had to do that for quite a while so you just never know you never know they're always going to be a little bit different so be prepared for them make sure you got um, food and Make sure you got food you don't have to cook. If you do have uh, food to cook, make sure you got a way to cook it. A grill or um, some small way to cook it. If you got generators, have some way of uh, some toaster ovens, air fryers, anything like that that you can cook some food um, with the generator running. So um, make sure you got water. Also, um, with your food, the food and water, make sure you got food and water. Make sure you got um, stuff for your, your kids, your babies. If you gotta have um, have baby formula, stuff like that. Um, have that stocked up for a couple weeks worth. Your pets, make sure you got food and water for your pets for a couple weeks. Um, and yourself as well and your families. Make sure you got food and uh, make sure you got water. Make sure you got um, good drinking water. Make sure you got water you can cook. If you got to store up some tap water um, for the toilets or for bathing or anything like that, um, have that extra too. Um, have ways to purify water. There's quite a few ways you can purify water with filters and stuff like that. And uh, they also have tablets you can get you can put in water to purify it. So just make sure you have ways of um, having water and drinking it for a couple weeks. Make sure you got food for a couple of weeks. Um, pet food and stuff. Make sure you got um, first aid. Make sure you got prescriptions. If you take medications, make sure you have your prescriptions to last you a, a couple of weeks or a couple of months, even or a month or so at least. Even make sure you have that kind of stuff too. And then also you want to. Uh, Go ahead and prepare. Have have in, if you can have a generator, gas, batteries. Charge up your batteries. Um, do your laundry ahead of time before it gets here, because you know you're going to be more than likely going to be without power when it gets here. So have your all your laundry done ahead of time. Um, all your batteries charged up, and especially if you have uh, cordless power tools and stuff like that. Make sure you have all your batteries charged ahead of time. Um, <clears throat> make sure you have uh, tarps, sandbags, and uh, things like that. Towels, if you got to soak up water. If you have any water coming in and unexpectedly, you got to make sure you have towels and stuff like that ready. Um, 
like I said, your sandbags, if you need to sandbag up some doors or something to help keep the water from coming in, make sure you have all that. And if you are, um, like I said, if you are in an evacuation zone, make sure you get out. <coughs> Hurricane Helene actually killed a lot of people because of that and uh, also because of uh, people getting out and trying to drive through the water and had to be rescued in the water and uh, when Hurricane Helene was coming they kept stressing on the <coughs> on the news they kept stressing all the time about not getting out in the water um, when the hurricane's coming in not not trying to drive through the water things like that not walking in it you got to watch for um, down power lines too being in the water and uh, walk, get out walking in the water and the down power lines and that'll kill you too, electrocute you. So you gotta watch stuff like that too. So um, you gotta be your own first responder. There's, <clears throat> you might not be able to call and get help to come to you and come rescue you. You gotta be your own first responder. You gotta be prepared. All right, so <clears throat> um, know where the shelters are. If you're in evacuation areas too, know where the shelters are, where you might need to go. Try to do that ahead of time as well. And uh, <coughs> like I said, uh, evacuate if you're in an evacuation zone so you can stay safe. And uh, if you can, if you have skills especially, um, help your friends, your family, your neighbors. Help them out if you can. If you're in a position where you can help somebody, help them out. Like you said, if you have skills, if you have medical skills, you can help people with first aid. Um, if you're a prior military, military veteran like me, um, we, we, we studied first aid the whole time I was in the military. It was non-stop. So if, if you can help somebody with first aid, if you have some construction experience, tools, using power tools, anything like that, where you can help people, you can help them cut trees out of their get them out of the driveways, out of the yard, out of the road. Um, help people if you can. Help your neighbors, your family if you can. <clears throat> Alright, and then uh, there's some pretty good, um, like here where we're at in Florida, there, there's some pretty good um, people that you can watch. Like we watch Fox 13 quite a bit, watching it. Um, Bay News 9 is really good. I watched on um, Fox 13 in Orlando. On you, these are all on, on YouTube stuff here that, too that you can watch. There's um, one called Max Velocity and um, Hall, y'all. They're pretty good too. They'll um, they'll keep up with the storms and tell you what's happening. So those are pretty good on YouTube. I'll put the links to to those on here too as well. All right, so y'all y'all be prepared and stay safe and if you can please evacuate stay safe all right so like like us we're in the center of florida so we're we're pretty far inland so we don't we're not in an evacuation zone so we're all we're prepared um we've been through quite a few hurricanes they've come right over us here where we're at the eyes come right over us quite a few times so we're prepared already so uh, y'all Please be prepared and please stay safe. All right.